In this video, we're going to learn how to steam food. There are several different techniques that we can use for steaming. One is called pan steaming. It's quite simple. In this method, we're going to put our food product into a pan with a little bit of liquid, cover the pan with a lid, and allow the liquid to boil. Although some of the food product will come into contact with the liquid in the bottom of the pan, the majority of it is cooked by the steam that's generated. Using a bamboo basket is another uh, common way to steam. Um, and then this setup here, um, is also quite common. So what we have is we have a four inch half hotel pan with a two inch perforated hotel pan uh, set on top. This is a great method because at no point does the food product have to come into contact with the liquid. It's completely removed from the liquid. That's actually important uh, when we look at the nutritional benefits of steaming. Steaming is one of the healthiest uh, ways to cook food product and especially uh, with vegetables where some of the vitamins may be water soluble so they may leach out if we were to boil them with steaming when the food's not in contact with the water we retain a lot of those nutrients what's also important with this setup is that we have a nice tight fitting lid so the lid that i have is not quite so tight fitting so we've wrapped it with uh, foil to help create a better seal uh, i could also reuse um, heat resistant saran wrap uh, for this as well, or just use a tight fitting lid uh, for a setup like this. So the, the process is quite simple. You can see I have about two inches of water in the bottom of my pan. <clears throat> my perforated pan goes on top. All I have to do is take my product, in this case I'm using broccoli, but I could use this method really for anything I wanted to steam, you know, any sort of vegetable or fish or even chicken, uh, and it would steam just fine. All I have to do is cover my product. Something I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna kinda of check, and if there's anywhere where I can like really clearly see a lot of steam escaping, okay, so if maybe it wasn't quite on tight and I can see, you know, seams starting to escape, I wanna make sure that I adjust my lid and either use my hands if it's not too hot or if it is uh, a little warm, I could use a towel and just kinda of create a nice tight seal so that I'm keeping all that steam uh, inside. So I'm going to let this broccoli cook until uh, it's steamed through and we'll check back in then. So it's been about five minutes and our broccoli is nicely steamed. You want to make sure when you take the lid off, you stand back a little bit. If my face was right over top of it, got a big face full of steam. Okay. And you can see my broccoli <clears throat> is nice and cooked now. Okay. The color's changed. It's nice and bright. Um, I could go ahead and I could... Uh, serve this right now. Um, I could also uh, shock this in an ice bath, um, but just remember when we uh, shock product, we submerge it in water, uh, so we will have some of that nutrient loss. Um, so if the reason that we're steaming is to keep all those nutrients, we would want to go ahead and serve it uh, hot just like this. Okay. The last thing that's important uh, when we're using the steam basket setup like this is I don't want to be going back and forth uh, checking to see if the product is done. The system relies uh, on steam accumulating uh, in my basket here. And if I'm constantly removing the lid to check on the product, I'm going to be letting all of that heat out and not allowing the steam to build up. So gauge how long you think the steaming is going to take uh, and then check it once it's there, but don't be going in and out constantly. Let's review. There are several ways to steam. In addition to the method that we showed today, we can also use pan steaming, bamboo baskets, there are even commercial uh, convection steamers. Next, make sure that the lid that we're using with this setup has a nice tight seal. If the lid fits loosely or doesn't have a tight seal, use either plastic wrap or aluminum foil to help create a tighter barrier. Finally, steaming is one of the most healthy cooking methods. It helps us retain many of the nutrients in our food.